Critical Writing Introduction This guide on critical writing will help you understand how to communicate your critical thinking in your assignments, which is very important to succeeding in your academic career. What is critical writing? Academic essays consist of two writing styles, descriptive writing and critical writing. To understand critical writing fully, let's examine what descriptive writing is. Descriptive writing. It describes, or gives an account of, or gives details, on what something is. It could be a topic, problem, situation, or context of the subject under discussion. It may describe where this takes place, and who is involved when it occurs. Also, it provides background information to your discussion of the essay question. Background description usually comes before critical analysis, so that the reader can understand the topic you are critically engaging with. A good way to remember descriptive writing is, it provides information on what, who, where, and when. Descriptive writing demonstrates to your marker, the knowledge you have of a subject, or of what something is, and your knowledge of what other people say about that subject. Critical writing. Critical writing requires you to apply analysis and evaluation to the descriptions you have provided. Writers who can produce persuasive critical writing, use evidence to support their ideas. Critical writing allows you to Apply an idea, or theory, to a different situation. Does the idea work or not work in practice? Is there a factor that makes this work or not? Relating theory to practice. For example, Smith's theory on teamwork is effective in the workplace, because it allows a diverse group of people with different skills to work effectively. Justify why a process or policy exists. Suggest an alternative approach, to view and act on situations. Discuss the strengths and weaknesses of an idea, theory, or policy. Why does this idea work? Or, why does this idea not work? For example, although Smith's theory on teamwork is useful for large teams, there are challenges in applying this theory to teams who work remotely. Demonstrate how the idea links to other ideas in the field synthesis. For example, the user experience of Parks can be greatly enhanced by examining Donnelly's customer service model used in retail. Demonstrate how the idea compare and contrast with other ideas or theories comparison or classification of the type of theory. Demonstrate the up-to-datedness and relevance of an idea theory, or policy, currency. For example, although this approach was successful in supporting the local community, Smith's model does not accommodate the needs of a modern global economy. Evaluate an idea, theory, or policy, by providing an evidence-informed judgment. For example, therefore, May's delivery model should be discontinued, as it has created significant issues for both customers and staff. Create new perspectives, or arguments, based on knowledge. For example, to create strong and efficient buildings, we will look to the designs provided by nature. The designs of the Sydney Opera House are based on the segments of an orange. To conclude, critical writing takes positive and negative approaches, to ideas and interrogates them, once you have interrogated an idea, or theory, you can then provide an evidenced judgment. How can I write critically? It is important to remember, that having lots of critical analysis will not matter, if your ideas are not clearly structured. To maintain structure in your critical writing, it is important to use paragraphs correctly. Using a good paragraph structure, will enable the reader to clearly see descriptive writing, followed by critical writing. For example, have a look at the following paragraph. According to research by the Food Standards Agency, there may be a link between late nights, and childhood obesity in children. However, this research focuses only on the area of sleep, 
and does not consider many of the other factors associated with late nights, such as what children eat, or when they stay up late. Compared to other known factors influencing childhood obesity, there is insufficient evidence about the effect of late nights, for this to be taken very seriously by policymakers, though this may change with further research. This paragraph consists of three sentences. Descriptive statement, critical statement, and judgment. Descriptive statement. Who, when, and what. According to research by the Food Standards Agency, published in 2015, there may be a link between late nights and childhood obesity in children. Critical statement. However, this research focuses only on the area of sleep, and does not consider many of the other factors associated with late nights, such as what children eat, or when they stay up late. Judgment Statement Compared to other known factors influencing childhood obesity, there is insufficient evidence about the effect of late nights, for this to be taken very seriously by policymakers, though this may change with further research. Paragraph Structure of Critical Writing it is good academic practice to follow a three-sentence structure, where you can provide description, analysis, and evaluation. That is, descriptive statement, plus critical statement, plus judgment statement. Example, according to. However, overall, ABC argues that, alternatively, therefore, this structure helps you to include both description and critical analysis, and shows visually where the sections begins and end. Also, it allows you to check the balance between description and critical writing, and makes sure that you have enough critical content. Phrases to demonstrate your critical thinking. When writing your critical and evaluation statement, think carefully about the point you are trying to make and use the corresponding language to highlight this to the reader. When comparing, or contrasting two theories. Similarly, or on the other hand. When offering an alternative point of view. An alternative argument. When highlighting a weakness in a theory. One major drawback of this approach. At Talent and Skills Hub, you can be supported by our instructors, academic skills advisors, and mentors, to write critically. You can book appointment for one-to-one -one or group tutoring through our website, tshub.com.